Hey guys, happy Sunday. I hope you're having a good time food prepping over at your house. I just wanted to make you a quick video to show you what kind of goes on at my house on Sunday to give you some ideas on how you can prepare meals and snacks um, on the weekend that will last you throughout the week to help set you up for success with the nutrition plan portion of your program. Okay, so I just went to the grocery store and uh, to supplement some of the food that I already had in the house uh, to make actual meals for the week. So I'm just gonna show you what I have and tell you about what I'm going to make with it here in just a minute. So first things first, easy to grab snacks, okay? Um, we keep a giant bowl of fruit on our counter at all times. Um, like I said in my last video, apples are in season right now, they're cheap. Um, I have a friend who has an amazing orange tree in her yard, so she gives me oranges uh, this time of year. So yay, I'm all about a bargain. Those are free too. So, you know, on your plan, you really should be having, I believe, at least two to three servings of fruit per day. Uh, grabbing something that you can just literally grab and throw in your purse or throw in your bag and take with you is a great option just to have that snack on hand. Okay. Um, other snacks that I... What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? A different kind of snack that I often grab, especially if I have back-to-back-to-back uh, -to -back -to -back phone calls, um, even though I work from home, sometimes I don't get a chance to eat on a regular schedule. Um, so I always make sure that we have lots of eggs on hand, and I will usually take maybe half of these at the beginning of the week and boil them. Uh, I've just recently become acquainted with the idea of having hard-boiled eggs on hand, but it is really convenient because it is a protein source. It will keep you full, and they do actually travel well. You can put them in a little container, you know, wrap a, some, like an ice pack around it, and you can actually take those um, on the road with you as well. What else? One of my um, all-time favorite uh, quick snacks or quick breakfasts, if I need one, is this, whole milk, Greek yogurt, right? So it's going to be full fat. This is not a, this is not a no fat, low fat house. Um, but I basically take about a, one red container of this if you're using the 21 day fix or about um, half a cup of this and combine it with a half a cup or a third cup of this granola. This is granola that I've made um, homemade. I will post the recipe. It's super easy and it takes like 15 minutes. Um, I decided to start making my own granola because I was wasting money on overly sugared, even healthy granola, uh, and I just didn't want to be taking in that much sugar. So that's a great option, you know, half a cup to a three-fourths of a cup of this, uh, half a cup of this, combine it, you've got enough calories to sustain you between meals, um, and uh, you, get a, you get a good balance, one red, one yellow. Okay. Like I said in a previous video, if you have a sweet tooth and you just can't crush it, these are awesome to have on hand. They are the Giardelli 70% or 72% cocoa uh, dark chocolate squares. Um, I often, if I am like just literally having a, a sugar, you know, chocolate attack, I'll have one of these um, in the afternoon. It kind of perks me up because of the caffeine and the sugar and the chocolate, and it crushes that sweet tooth. A couple things I would recommend that you have on hand if you like uh, nut butters um, is the organic creamy peanut butter is awesome. You have to stir it up. You see that oil on top? Sorry, my dog is eating. Um, but you can have this on hand. It's great for you know eating with an apple or eating with um, really anything. I love peanut butter. Another good one is this almond butter. Uh, this is the kind that has no salt in it, so there's literally nothing in here but almonds. Okay. I really like this one, especially when I make the vanilla Shakeology cookies. I like the crunchy. I like it because the almonds are a little bit sweeter than the, than the peanuts. So it really makes it taste like cookie dough. Okay. Oatmeal. Oatmeal is a super fast breakfast option or snack option. Um, honey, chill, chill. Oatmeal is a super fast uh, breakfast option. 
Um, you basically can take a half a cup of this, one cup of water, put it all in a bowl, throw it in the microwave, microwave it for two minutes. The oatmeal, oatmeal will be perfectly done. And then I recommend, you know, topping it with some sort of nuts, um, maybe some dried fruit or fresh fruit if you have it. It just makes it for um, a more balanced meal. And as before, I might actually pair that with two hard boiled eggs to make sure I get a protein source in the morning as well. Okay, super fast stuff. You can prepare this ahead and re-microwave it, um, but it's just so fast to, to cook it in the microwave um, in the morning that you often don't really need to. Um, what else? Okay, so let's talk about, that was pretty much what we do for snacks. Um, let's talk about meals. Uh, what I will typically do during the week, for uh, sorry, what I will typically do so that was snacks. Let's talk about actual meals, like food that you can prepare ahead for um, lunches and or food that you can have on hand to prepare for dinners if you are, you know, with your family and cooking at home for the evening meal. Um, I know like myself, I travel a bit, we eat out a lot. So a lot of my dinner time meals are not eaten at home. So I mostly plan all my meals for breakfast, lunch, and snacks for myself and my husband. But what that means is I have to prepare something. So what I've done, what I'm doing this week is a sort of a standard recipe that I follow pretty often. Um, okay, so I like to get a whole chicken. Uh, this is the Publix Greenwise chicken, so it's an organic chicken. It's like 12 bucks but you can get about six servings out of this. Uh, for me, it's a better value than just buying the chicken breasts. Um, I'm not a huge fan of chicken breasts only. I like dark meat. Um, and you know, for me this works out because Kevin likes the chicken breasts and I like the legs and all that other stuff. So I would take this chicken and slice up this lemon, stuff it into the chicken cavity. Um, then I would take some dried rosemary. This happened to be fresh. That's now dried. You can use the bottled dried and sprinkle some rosemary in there, sprinkle some rosemary on top, um, along with some garlic. And literally, it's the easiest thing, but it always comes out awesome every single time. It's like you really cannot mess it up. Um, roast it in the oven, 425 for however long. Uh, you can use a thermometer. Um, I want to say maybe roast it for like 45 minutes or an hour. Uh, there's lots of recipes on the internet that you can follow. That's number one. So the other thing I might do is I might cut up these carrots, you know, um, peel them and then just cut them up in big chunks and lay them across the bottom of the pan that I would put the chicken on. Um, and roast them all together, right? So the juices from the chicken kind of helps steam the carrots. If you want everything more tender, you can cover the whole mess with tin foil. If you like it a little more um, crispy on the outside, leave it uncovered, and uh, that's that's one way to do it. Um, things that I typically roast, right? Carrots, uh, red potatoes, white potatoes. Um, those are all, you know, onions. Things those are that you can cut up in big chunks and then just leave in the pan while you roast the meat. It kind of doubles up as one and you get more done at a single time. Okay? I mentioned this before, but I normally always will bake a couple of sweet potatoes. Okay, so one sweet potato is not one serving. Half of a sweet potato is one serving. So my favorite way to do these is to wrap them in tin foil. Um, you know, poke a few holes in them, wrap them in tin foil, and bake them in the oven for um, probably 45 minutes at 400. Then you take them out of the tin foil, cut them in half long ways, okay? So you get these two, you get a flat, flat center. Um, then you can just brush a little bit of butter on it and sprinkle some cinnamon on it and put them back in the oven to either bake for a few more minutes or broil if you like a little crispy edge. Um, that makes a great side dish, okay, for anything, for any meat that you've prepared in advance, you can reheat the potato, it's delicious, okay, eat the skin and everything. Um, and that cinnamon gives it just a little bit of sweet without any sugar. Okay. Um, one thing that we do a lot when we're just like strapped for time and ideas is we will just get some regular old hamburger, this has been in the freezer, um, and this will make about four patties, you know, season them however you want to. We usually use garlic powder, um, the spice sauce that Kevin likes called pick a pepper. It's awesome, right? It's a little bit spicy, a little bit, um, steak sauce like, and, uh, just make four patties, throw them on a, you know, a griddle pan or put them on the grill. 
Um, again, the idea is to have quick things that fall into the categories of the food plan that you have that you can pop into the microwave at lunch, either at home or at work or even on the road, um, and have an actual whole meal instead of constantly eating out, eating, you know, more breads and more carbs than you should because you're eating sandwiches, um, very often or, um, you know, heavier lunches. Okay. But one pound of hamburger typically will make four patties. That's, you know, four lunches that you can have in advance. Um, I subscribe to a organic produce bag. So I have some food that's delivered to the house on a regular basis. And then I supplement that with stuff from the grocery store. So like one of the things that was delivered this week was, um, Swiss chard, which is like a, a dark leafy green. Um, you can use it in a lot of different ways, salads, all that stuff. This time of year, I'm not super in the mood for salads. So what I'll probably would do is chop this up and saute it in a pan, um, just to wilt it. And then you could serve that with anything, with your chicken, with your hamburger. Um, you know, if you have, if you happen to have fish on hand, I like fish cooked fresh. I don't really like it reheated. Um, you know, you can do that with anything, but this is like a super quick side item. Throw it in a pan with some garlic and a little bit of olive oil, wilt it for like a few minutes and done. You've got a side, a side vegetable. I don't know if you can see this, but they also sent us some romaine lettuce. So I am going to have some salads this week. So I got romaine. I got a couple cucumbers, some tomatoes, which aren't really in season, but whatever, and an avocado. Um, I'll eat avocado with almost anything, so try to keep it with a salad. I have bananas on hand. These are way too green, so I'm going to let them ripen up for a few days while we eat the ones that we have in the freezer. And I think that's it. But out of all of this, you know, what I will have is my Shakeology for breakfast always. That's what I always have. I have my shake uh, with half a banana in it and water. That really gets me through the morning. You know, maybe mid-morning I might have my yogurt and granola snack, or I might have, um, you know, two hard-boiled eggs and, you know, part of an avocado snack. Uh, come lunchtime, I'm literally going to grab one of these things out of our fridge that I've prepared, right? Which this last week's one was, you probably see it at the bottom, pork chop, green beans, potatoes, right? It's in the fridge, it's ready to go, you microwave it, it's already been seasoned, it tastes great, okay? So that's usually what I grab for lunch. Um, like I said, in the afternoon, if I'm feeling like sweet tooth aholic, then I might grab one of these, right? Um, I also drink tea in the afternoon, so it kind of helps me keep awake and satisfy that urge to snack. And then, you know, come dinner time, if we're eating at home, you know, that's when like this whole chicken would make sense, right? Just cut up the, cut up the carrots, cut up the potatoes, throw it all in a big pan, you know, drizzle it with some olive oil so it doesn't um, burn. Stuff the chicken with the lemon, garlic, rosemary, uh, sprinkle it all over the outside, throw it in the oven for 45 minutes to an hour, and boom, you've got like a hot meal that's vegetables and proteins. Um, and that's it. Maybe throw it with a side salad if you're really, really hungry. Um, so that's pretty much it. Like, I used to think that eating whole foods was a big pain in the butt, right? I was like, we ate out almost every single meal, um, like every meal every day. Um, I just didn't have this concept that cooking was not as hard as it, as I thought it was. Um, so I think when you keep your ingredients simple, experiment to find spices that you like, um, and then just plan it out thinking about, okay, what do I need to have on hand? What do I need to have on hand quick? Uh, for me, that's always breakfast, which is taken care of with Shakeology. Um, so I need like snacks and I need lunches. And then dinner, I have a little more leeway to figure out whether we're going to be home or out. Um, I don't have to plan that so far in advance for, for just Kevin and me. So I hope this gave you some ideas. Um, if you want any suggestions, if you um, have any questions, please post them below and we'll get them answered. But otherwise, I'm going to get to cooking. So we have some lunches for this week. And uh, have a great Sunday, guys. We will start with our official check-ins tomorrow morning uh, when we start our workouts. Okay? Have a great day. Bye.